We've got some insights into the Galaxy S25 Ultra, and it looks like a major shift from recent designs. And uh, Samsung has embraced a more rectangular boxy design for its Ultra phones in recent years, with the S24 Ultra being a prime example. Sharp edges and flat surfaces create a sleek, professional aesthetic. But I'd re Ah, but Samsung might be changing course. According to Ice Universe, the S25 Ultra will feature a significantly rounder design. How round are we talking? Ice Universe claims the S25 Ultra uh, will have corners as rounded as the Galaxy Note 7 from 2016. That's right. Symmetrical bezels and a softer overall look are on the way. Uh, before you start asking about a curved display, the S25 Ultra's display is expected to remain flat. However, S Pen fans can rejoice. Samsung isn't abandoning the stylus. The S25 Ultra will still offer dedicated S Pen support. Design is subjective. What one person finds stunning, another might find bland. Personally, I'm a big fan of the S24 Ultra's boxy look, so this rounder direction isn't thrilling to me. So, some users found the S24 Ultra's sharp edges uncomfortable, and this change could address those concerns. But what do you think? Do you love the idea of a rounder S25 Ultra, or are you on Team Boxy? I'd love to know your opinion. Moving on, Ice Universe also suggests the S25 Ultra uh, will be the thinnest S Ultra phone ever, measuring 8.4 mm thick. Yeah, that's 0.2 mm slimmer than the S24 Ultra. However, the title of the thinnest Ultra phone still belongs to the Note 20 Ultra, which measures 8.1 mm. Despite the slimmer profile, Samsung won't compromise on the camera modules which likely means they'll protrude a bit more than the current phone. And rumors suggest Samsung might replace the Exynos chip with the Snapdragon Gen 4 uh, for the S25 lineup due to production issues. Another rumor hints at using MediaTek chips for the S25 and S25 Plus in some regions with the S25 Ultra sticking to Snapdragon. Uh, this is unconfirmed and possibly due to uh, uh, the rising cost of Snapdragon Gen 4 which might lead Samsung to explore MediaTek to maintain pricing. The possibility of a MediaTek chip in some S25 models can't be entirely dismissed given Samsung's similar strategy. With the Galaxy Tab S10 lineup, in some regions the Tab S10 and S10 Plus will feature a, a MediaTek chip, while the S10 Ultra sticks with Snapdragon, but still approach this rumor with skepticism due to the source's lack of established credibility. Anyway, Samsung is also changing the design of the Galaxy Watch 7 Ultra. Check out this video for more details. Click right here, and I'll see you there.